Today we're going to be reading a famous series called The Magic School Bus. The book we're going to be reading is Sleeps for the Winter by Scholastic. It's fun to be in Mrs. Frizz's class. Mrs. Frizz's dress are funny. Her shoes are funny too. She takes us on trips in the magic school bus. Our bus has powers. Bearden, magic powers. We are learning about how wild animals live in the winter. We are getting our room ready for visitors night. My grandma is coming. My mom and dad will be here too. Some animals hibernate in the winter, says Phoebe. Other animals stay awake, says Ralph. Miss Frizz Miss Frizzle gets an idea. Let's take a trip. In no time, we are riding in the magic school bus. Miss Frizzle drives North to a big park. Look, Arnold, this park is full of wild animals. Miss Frizzle's trips are always wild. There's a black bear, says Phoebe. There's another one, said Ralph. People must have named us a long time ago. Before they knew about the colors. Then the bus starts shaking. It makes a funny sound. It says, grrrr. The bus has changed now. It's the magic school bear. I can't believe it. I can't bear it. The real bear eats some nuts. The bus bear eats nuts too. Listen to all that crunching. It's driving me nuts. The real bear catches a fish and eats it. The bus bear does too. The real bear eats some honey. It even eats some bees. Our bear does too. It's getting messy in here. A snowflake falls, then more come down. The bear find a cave. This morning it was fall. Now winter is here. Things go fast on Miss Frizzle's trip. The bears make nests out of dry leaves. Why are we moving so slow? Did the bus? Then both bears go to sleep. Now they are hibernating. Did the bus bear just snore? It won't be going anywhere soon. The bears sleep and sleep. But we are not sleepy. Let's go outside, whispers the frizz. Miss Frizzle opens her bag. She gives us some glasses. I already have glasses. They are magic glasses. Now we can see animals hibernating under the ground. We can see animals in logs and caves too. These animals will sleep all winter. They can't, they can't. Why can't I stay in bed all winter? We see animals under a lake. Then we see animals on land. One is a big cat, a puma. The others are wolves. Water am animals hibernate too. These animals are hunters. We need help fast. Wild 
thunders don't hurt people unless the people get too close. I think we're too close. Then we hear a growl. It is a magic school bear. The bus saved us. We go back to the cave. Something has happened. It's amazing. Look, the two two baby bears were born. They are very small and they don't have fur yet. The bears are sleepy. We are too. Soon we are all fast asleep. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open. When we wake up, it is spring. The bears are outside. The baby bears play. The mother finds food. The club, the cu- the cubs are big now. My book says bear cubs grow fast. Miss Frizzle drives back to school. When we get there, it is fall again, and the bus is a bus again. Hurry, we have to get ready for visitors' night. The visitors love our room. They love Miss Frizzle's dress too. Does Miss Frizzle bug you? No, but her dress does. The end. Thank you.